good uh, morning guys welcome to today's video it is early we are heading out to do hugging <laughs> just joking oh i can pick you up still yeah oh don't do it <laughs> you got uh, that or yeah. you have to pick me up yeah we could all pick gabby up <laughs> Anyway, we are headed out no, you in my purple and my pink today, oh, inside out. Uh, we are headed out to do chores. It is early, like I said. Today is going to be the last nice day for this whole week. Like, we had an awesome weekend, and now we're going to have an awesome day today, and then it's going to be not so cold. I lost my mom's legs yesterday. You lost my legs? Waxed your legs. Oh, yeah. Tell them. I waxed my mom's legs yesterday. Yeah. So, um... When I have more money, I'm gonna buy a waxer thingy and some of the wax stuff. Yeah. So, Gosh. you guys might not know this because we didn't start vlogging until the girls were a little bit bigger, but when Sophie was young, she was a beautician. Like, that is her thing. She's always been that. Like, she likes to do hair, other people's hair, not her own hair. Uh -huh. Um, But she loves to, she always used to do her hair. Like, we used to, when she was like little, like three, we used to sit there and suffer the torture of Sophie doing her hair for hours. Even Sam had ponytails. Um, And she likes to do, like, do waxing. She got a waxing kit out of the bathroom yesterday and she waxed my legs. Oh, it was not fun. And one time when she was really little, like five, she asked, I was sitting on the couch on my phone, and she asked me if she could take care of my legs, do some treatments to my legs. I said, yeah, she sure. she had a cut on her leg. Yeah, I had a cut on my leg, and she wanted to take care of it for me. So she got vinegar and salt. And vinegar. Windex. Vinegar and Windex. And she cleaned my cut. Yeah, um, that was so fun. No, there was salt too. Yeah, it was great salt times, you guys. But anyway... So if Sophie ever becomes a beautician, just keep that in mind that her history is dark. So uh, yesterday I finished this garden. Yeah, look at all those cars. What the heck? Don't you know the world is closed down? Yeah. It's because it's Monday and spring break is over. Kids are back to school. People are back to work. You didn't feel that bad? Are they doing yeah. online school? Oh yeah, it's online school. Where the heck are all those people going? We're back to online school. It's we gorgeous. We online school the whole the whole I know. three years. Look at that green grass. Alright, let's do this. Hi, Pen. Hi, Penny Pickle. Oh, you'd be looking dirty. People are asking why the heck. Oh, we need to bring our blankets up. Why the heck did we not sleep on this couch? Tell them, so Why did we not sleep on that couch? Because we didn't put our mind into it. Because it's freaking uncomfortable. <laughs> Super uncomfortable, and it's parked in front of a big door. It's super breezy. Oh, hello, Patty Pickle. Good job. I'm gonna come in and give you a brush, okay? You know you're a farm girl when you put hairy horse stuff in your mouth. Yeah. Hey, Pen. It's okay. It's okay. It's a girl. Okay. This is what I like to do. I like to give her a brush before she goes out. Yeah. She likes it. She's like, oh, I like to have my breakfast and a massage. Yeah. There she is, you guys. <laughs> With her hair all brushed. Why do you put their products to the side? You don't do that. I do do it. It's a no. side part. Side parts are out. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah. Well, anyways, my girl is not fashionable. She is not a military girl. That's one thing I know for sure. She's not super athletic horse, are you? No, and she does not have the... <laughs> she's just... Who is? No. Who is super athletic, Sophie? Tell us. Gracie. <laughs> there goes Gracie. Hi, Tommy. Okay. There goes Willow, looking good. There goes Sophie. All right, nice. So, she's a fashionista, you guys. Don't let that side part fool you. She be looking gorgeous. And she's happy with those ears pinned all the way back. Your hay's outside. They're spicy today. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why they were following you around. Don't give them all the carrots, Sophie. We gotta save them for catching time. Oh, hello, princess. Why do you guys spill this? Yeah, why do they spill that? Why? Well, you spill it all the time. Every time I come in here, they spill it. You, you want the poop on the ground. Uh-oh, now we are trapped. Give her a carrot and then let's go. Give her a carrot and then... And then 
I time to go. So I gave her a really nice brush, except for her face, clearly. She's still head shy, but not t terrible. It's like weird to figure out like gated horses. Like, I don't know, I feel like she's got some kind of, I'm gonna give her a, a hoof clean right now, actually. I feel like she's got some kind of hey, be nice. tiny glitch in her hip. Nice in her left hip, but I don't know enough to see. It's almost like you have to get used to your own horse and your own horses, how they move. But watching her run yesterday, and I've been thinking it, so I did a book her in a chiropractor appointment, and our vet is coming, so I can just always double check with him. But, I'm just looking for a hoof pick. But, having a gated horse makes things more difficult. Like, normally, Gabby can help me figure things out. But, like, and even our trainers, Fiona does well. She can tell if she's lame or not. But just like little tiny things I don't understand yet in how she moves because she moves so differently. And that's why like sometimes I rely on you guys to tell me when she looks weird or not because I know a lot of you guys actually have gated horses and so I appreciate all your help. I swear to God, she comes up to me and says, there's mud in my feet. And then I'm like, okay, I understand. And then I go out there and I pick her feet in the field and she stands right, come here Ruby. She just stands straight there, lets me pick her feet. Mm -hmm. You didn't get me some glasses. <laughs> yeah, okay. so Sophie wants. <laughs> and I can put them up. I love it. Like Homemade sunglasses. You fall off. <laughs> Show Gabby. Show her how they work too. Okay. And then you can flip them up. <laughs> okay. So uh, we are discussing what we should get Dad for Father's Day. I want a really nice pair of black sunglasses with pink gems on them. Okay, but we need for Dad, for Dad for Father's Day. Because I know he bought me something really nice for Mother's Day. Something I, my dream. Yeah, you guys know what he bought you for Mother's Day, but I don't know. I know, because I had and to pick you it. Guys stands for you and Dad. So I know, know I know. I know it is. At least somebody will be oh, surprised. I know this bottle. I don't the, want a bitless bridal. No, the bridal thing that you keep showing off to everyone and bragging about. <laughs> I want it. It's not bragging if you don't even have it. Yeah. It is bragging. But if I get that, I'll be bragging. Yeah, and I'll be killing. <laughs> okay, so no, let's I'll take a vote. Myself. Let's take a vote. I'll be who, killing you because you brag too much. Who thinks we should buy that at horse for himself so he can at least go on trails and yeah. stuff? I think we should get a free gym. Yes, Chino. You want to get him a Frisian mare? I don't know. Chino's delicate. Because that's the thoroughbred in him. I know. He has more thoroughbred in him than like he's quarter powerful. Horse, yeah. But he he looks more quarter horse than thoroughbred. Yeah. Some people guessed who his he dad was. He looks like an. Oh, his dad is. Do you have a minute? The famous, infamous. Do you his have mom is a racist. Yeah, his mom. That cat's a native. That cat's a native. Gabby thinks his mom is racist. racist. So. Okay, so vote by dad, uh, uh, chestnut mare. Who said that? What, oh, what did you say? I said a Frisian mare. A Frisian no, mare. A Frisian mare. A Frisian gelding. Yeah, dad would do better with a gelding. I yeah. can tell you that right but now. Mares are more roly poly fat ponies. Yeah, that could be true. Why are you stereotyping mares? Like? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't stereotype mares. Don't be prejudiced about mares. Especially the chestnut mare. But like when they're pregnant, they're really fat. Okay, so you can get Frisians like, come in black and what other color? White? I don't know. White? Do they come in white? Isn't that all the uh -huh. Okay, so what about we get them they're a gypsy banner? What about we get them a gypsy banner? Less far to fall and they're more friendly. Yeah, no. Yeah, what about we get Dad a gypsy banner? No. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh. We vote you out. Oh, yeah. Gypsy. We're not getting him a horse. As long as I Okay, so let's vote. Getting Dad a horse. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, I and vote. Yeah, we'll say no. So yeah, I vote. It, I mean, but it, what if it's one of those things where you don't know you want it till you have it? Oh, I know I don't want it. I know I don't want him because we'd be taking care of it. No, I he know, takes I care know, of our I horses. Know I want it. You want it? I know. Yeah. Well, like, so that's I, the I problem. Could ride it. I could school it. Yeah. Noobs are gonna be riding it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the problem here is that Sam does not want a we horse. Now we're like, to ages as a And we have six. And I feel like six is our lucky number. Actually, I feel like seven oh, is so our lucky number. Seven is my lucky number. Hmm. I don't know. But all I know is that there is no <laughs> other horse in store for us at the moment. Mm -hmm. But if he said he wanted a horse to come riding with us, <laughs> done. Has Dad ever gone riding with us before? No. 
Uh, yes. One time. Written. Oh yeah, that's... Rina. Um. The he's trail. written on the trail. Okay, I'm gonna find that video uh, and I'm gonna share it with you. A little clips of it with you guys I'm here. Well, before have you? Yeah. yeah, they ride. They jump. What's this horse's name? Zoe. Yeah, yeah. Gabby, you're on Zoe. Yeah, yeah. I know you're riding English, I can put him high if you want. Sylvia has a hard time getting up there without a stool. Ready? One, two, three, climb. Go! Come on. Come on. Oh. Climb. Get him, help! Climb. Climb. <laughs> we got it! Get up there, a little bit up there. What's, Zoe, what's uh, this horse's name? Dove. Dove. So we, uh, Gabby, Sophie, you got Dove. Don't be afraid to fall if you have to. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Just wait, let me do it myself. I think I can do it. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> I did it. What's your horse's name? Uh, Boomer. Boomer? Can I use a stool? Because I have bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> that was so empowering. I love that. Come on, this beauty. Are you going to be nice to me? Are going to be nice to me? Hey? What's his name? Brandy. Her name. Her name, Brandy. It's literally amazing up here. That's the coolest thing. Got the kids all that way. Let's say that way. Tim got the biggest one. I got Boomer. She's really slow, so I pick her up a bit. You slow? Yeah, really. Oh, are you slow, girl? It's okay. Laura. I got Brandy. Girl, Brandy. All right, you guys, we are off, and I'm on a horse, and it's a lot better than the last time I was on a horse. Girls are way at the front. How you doing up there, Gabby? Basically, my horse is just doing whatever it wants, which is following the other horses, which works for me, and Sam's behind me. Sam, come on, you gotta speed up. <laughs> That's so funny. Got the slowest horse in the world. So, we're on our trail ride. Yippee ki -yay. Yo, yo. I'm in the back. I got the slowest horse. And he doesn't want to go anywhere. And her name is Brandy. Come on, Brandy. What are you doing? Get going. Sam, you're like pretty far behind there. Can I dig yeah. it out? Yeah, dig it out because that is disgusting. Oh my gosh, that's even more disgusting. It's dead. It's dead. You can't. You gotta to toss it somewhere. I <laughs> you guys are nuts. Me. You guys are nuts. I can still see it. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I bent over, was pouring the water in here, and just happened to look into there, and it was staring eye to eye with me. I Did thought you fell into a water Yeah, I truck. thought it was a mouse. I screamed. I you fell into a water truck. Not one single horse came to protect me, though. Not one single one. Is there any more that I can save? It's disgusting. I can't believe you picked up a dead. That's a farm girl, you know. Like, that is a I farm girl. I want one. No. Sophie feels like she could have nursed that back to health. I'm like, mm, it was pretty stiff. Pretty sure it was dead. Girls are doing their school work. Sophie's on a bathroom break. And for our very first uh, day back at school, I have a fun field trip planned for us. Yeah, we're gonna have a field trip. Yeah, we're having a field trip outside. All right, we're gonna have a recess, but it's a working recess. All right, so this is it. This is our, this is our field trip. This is our garden area. This is where we're gonna put our vegetables this year. Can I have the giant weed thing Go that, that way. you chopped your arm off? No. All right, so this is your challenge. This is what I have planned for you guys today for your field trip. So basically we need to make a- I should've driven the lawnmower down. Same. Basically we need to, build us a garden so you're going to go out there you're going to use whatever rocks or whatever you can find on this property and you're going to build an area where we're going to plant stuff
so far. I'm loving it. So, can I grab a rake and rake it? Like, sure. I'm going to cut the grass in here anyways before we. And it's like dirt because it, it needs to be dirt. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to go grab Okay. Rake. So, we have worker oh, Sophie. Sophie. I'll have the house. I don't know. The lawnmower is up at the house. I'm not. I'm oh. raking it. Oh, the rake is in the barn. Okay. So, Sophie and I dragged all the stuff and Gabby has been our foreman. So Gabby, what have you learned? What have you learned in this process? I'm planning. She's planning. Sophie and I are the doers and Gabby is the planner. What are you planning? There's poop right here. I am planning to build a fence. She's planning to build a fence. Whew. So what do you guys think? For our first garden at this place, we had acres of garden in the past at old houses. I have a picture, so if I find them, I'll throw them in here. I'm sure I showed them before. All right, it's time for car talk with Laura. First of all, I wanted to just say I love you all and that you're amazing, and I hope you are having an awesome day. And then I wanted to update you guys on our COVID journey. You guys know we're in lockdown, full lockdown. I told you on the weekend that our police services were given the right to stop us. Anytime we leave our house and we're on the roads, they have the right to pull us over, ask us our address and where we're going, and to not answer them is against the law. And since that has happened, I just wanna make sure the horses are okay. Um, and since that has happened, the very next day, all of our collective police departments tweeted and said that they refused to do that. They're not gonna be doing that. And, um, so then our government the next day said, okay, sorry, we're not gonna do that. So yeah, like that happened. Um, anyways, but they did say like, it's dire. This is dire. Everybody needs to stay home. And so that was on the weekend. And today we had, not in our area, um, but collectively we had the most numbers we've ever had like our numbers are only rising even though our government is taking drastic measures and telling us like we can't even leave our houses or else we're going to be in trouble so yeah i feel like in my heart i feel like that our communities are revolting quietly that's what i feel like but we are not like we are only doing what we are allowed to do like on Facebook yesterday, I opened Facebook and uh, at least three of my friends were posting pictures of what they were doing with their friends. Like, I had friends out riding with other friends. I had family get-togethers. Like, we just stay home. We don't invite anybody over. We don't go anywhere. Like, we are not breaking any of the laws. But I feel like, especially in the big cities, people are done with it. I feel like they're like, forget it. I'm done. It's going to be scary, you guys. I am really worried for what is coming next. Really, really worried. Like pretty soon like I don't know it's gonna be scary honestly I think I should hide that shirt I've hidden shirts before yeah but you wear that shirt with every single ride I thought you were wearing a green shirt mm, I don't like it and it's long sleeve and it's hot out it's thin it's, it's thin a summer shirt it's a lululemon. It's a lululemon and I made an executive decision it is wet and mushy in the outdoor We've been in the indoor. All the jumps, we dragged them outside. So we're gonna do a trail ride. We're gonna go on a trail ride. I don't know where we're headed yet, but we're gonna go. And Sophie's just gonna have to suck it up and take one for the team. Let's see if Sophie and Finn have got it going on even outside. Right, Gabby's up. Forgot her gloves. She's still wearing her kunkles. She loves them. Whoa. Perfect. All right, we are headed off. Got pony one and pony two. Sophie feels way more confident with Gabby. Cause I walk too slow. For some reason, I always felt like I'd be up on horseback by now. I'd be doing this, joining my family on horseback. But yeah, no, still not.
daily videos has really changed our life in a lot of different ways. And lately, like in the last year, I've really learned about how we need to take moments and time and just for us. And, and even though I want to go with them and give my confidence to Sophie on the trail, sometimes I think it's good that they have like those minutes just to themselves, just for her and, and Gabby to work together and build the confidence sister to sister and it seems to be working so if i don't catch up today i think that's okay Watch her go by. 